Hey guys, it's me, Hashtag Nat, and today I'm going to be doing a Q&A, which I'm so happy that I can finally do because I've been wanting to do this for such a long time, and I finally have enough questions, and I'm ready to answer them. Before I begin, I want to give a big shout out to my friend Firelight. I will put her description to her channel down below, and this is how you spell her name right here. Before we start this video, make sure to subscribe because... I want you to be part of my YouTube family. Comment down below what you guys want to see and like this video if you think it's funny. If you just, you know, like it. Okay, let's get on with the video. My first question is, what is my most hated piece of clothing? This is my least favorite piece of clothing. I hate it. It's a turtleneck. It's long and it's like all this like weird prints. I don't know. It's just, I hate it. I'm going to keep it, but I'll never wear it again. My second question is, what is my favorite type of dog? My favorite type of dog has to be a husky because they're so cute. Mixed matched eyes, like Joey Graceffa's dog is so cute. My third question is, if I could spend a whole day with a celebrity, who would it be and where would it be? I would honestly and obviously pick Cara Delvine. She is my idol. I look up to her. She's awesome in all ways, and I think that she'd be so fun to hang around because if you've seen her behind the scenes videos or just any of her videos in general, she is very funny, and I feel like it'd be awesome, and I would love to spend a day with her in Paris because they have awesome fashion, and I feel like she'd be able to help me since she is a model. Fourth question is really hard. It's what's my favorite movie, and every time I get asked this question, I never know what to say. But I think I finally found out what my favorite movie is. My favorite movie is How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. I think it's such a funny movie, but at the same time, it's romantic and kind of cheesy. But it's cute and it is really funny. I mean, that movie slayed. My fifth question is, do I like snow? And that is a no. I live in Canada and... In the winter, the snow is not fun. I mean, it can be fun, but having to wear those big jackets, ugh. My sixth question is, da -da -da -da. I forget. Okay, my real sixth question is, have I ever liked somebody and have them not like me back? You mean, besides every celebrity guy in like the whole universe? Yes, but if we're counting actual people, Yes, I have. i pretty sure I might have told somebody at my old school that, that I actually kind of really liked. I mean, I was like younger. But to me, I really liked them. So I told them that, and then they told me that they didn't like me, and it was not fun. They're like, ew, and I was like, oh. So they broke my little heart. But... That's okay because that doesn't matter anymore. My seventh question, that was really like from like to oh, like really energetic. Okay, let's get back to the video. What inspired me to do YouTube? I think just being able to make people laugh. I don't know if I make people laugh, but just even making myself laugh and it's just fun, I guess. Like it's a it's a hobby. Like I might not be a big YouTuber, but I mean I hit a hundred subscribers and. That melted my heart. I appreciate that so much. Thank you all for subscribing to me. It really means a lot because when I first started out, I'm pretty sure my first YouTube channel was a singing channel and I was a really bad singer back then. I'm still not the best and my YouTube videos of me singing are really bad, but I sound a little bit better now, but when I first started YouTube, like it was really bad. <laughs> Sing all these country and pop songs and they were really cringy. I cringe at myself. I still cringe at myself. I mean, I thought I was like Beyonce back then, and then I realized I was like, a, like somebody that if you heard them singing, you just be like, please stop. My eighth question is, have I ever dyed my hair? Yes, I did. I wanted to dye my hair ombre, but then I realized that I didn't have like the long enough hair to do that. So instead I dyed it all brown because like, you know how when you're in the shower and like you come out and like this hair would be like brown, like a dark brown? Well, yeah, it's like, oh, I look good this way. So then I decided to dye it that way, and then I realized I didn't look good that way. I had to get highlights to bring my natural hair color back. 
So I got highlights, and then eventually my hair came back. I still have some of the highlights, like you can like this is a highlight, but the rest has come through natural, and I'm so happy about that because, I mean, like I'm blonde again. Like if I can find a photo of me with brown hair, I'll put it right here. Number nine is why did I choose hashtag Nat for my YouTube name? If you look back on my old videos, but I did delete a lot, you might hear me say, Hey guys, it's me, Geek Girl 108. And I don't know why I chose that name. I think it's because like, it was my email. And I was like, oh, you know what? This would be fun if it was a YouTube name. So I made my YouTube channel called Geek Girl 108. And... Yeah, I, I started to say, ew, like, why? And hashtag that sounds more cute and more not geeky and more fun. Because, I mean, and it's fun to do, like, hashtag? Hashtag that! It's fun to do. I love it so much. I just, it's fun to do, fun to say, and not boring. Like, geek girl went away. Like, ew. Tenth question is, have I ever traveled outside the country? And if so, where? I have been outside my country twice. Once when I was a baby and I went to the Dominican for my aunt's wedding. And my second time I was, I think, six and a half. No, I was probably seven. Seven or like seven and a half. Something like that. I was around that age, like between eight and seven. And I went to Disneyland and that's obviously in Florida. And it was so fun. Because that's the first time I remember taking a plane, and that's the first time I've been anywhere, like, that I will remember. Because, I mean, I was a baby. How am I supposed to remember that? The thing I remember from the Dominican is this bottle of sand. Literally, like, that's... Like, it, ooh. Wait, I want to feel it. I've never, I've never done this. Oh, I have Dominican sand in my hand. Looks really... It feels like normal sand, but it looks different. And now it's all over my bed. Okay, guys, that was the end of my Q&A. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you like this video and want to see more videos like this. Comment down below what you want to see. And like this video because it's amazing. Just kidding. But like it if you liked it because this video was so fun to make. So, yeah, bye. Love you guys.